Hey you, you want to learn something today? Then watch this video, damn it. What's going on today, guys? It's October the 12th. It's about 1, 1 o'clock, 1 30 in the afternoon, somewhere in there. And uh, we're in a truck stop here in Ohio. And I uh, want to thank my buddy Scully for that cool introduction he gave me. He's been bugging me all freaking day to do that. So thanks to Scully. Uh, but he said, if you want to learn something, watch this video, damn it. So watch this video. This is going to be about uh, problems with the Freightliner Cascadia, and particularly the 2017 Cascadias that are coming out of Mexico. There's two surefire ways to tell, <coughs> excuse me, if you've got a Mexican Freightliner. Well, there's one surefire way, but this is another easy way. When you get your books, you know, your manuals, your big thick packing of manuals and all that crap, inside there, look for your alignment printout. If it's in Mexican, guess what? You've probably got a Mexican Freightliner. And there's another surefire way to uh, determine what kind of, or not what kind of truck, but where your truck came from. So I'll be right back with you. All right, the other surefire way is open up your door, and right on the inside of the door jam, there's your sticker right here. It'll say right on there. I don't know if it'll focus with the sunlight country of origin Mexico all right so here's what we got going on we got alignment issues with these trucks now let me uh, jump back up here real quick and flip this around all right so here's the deal with these new 2017 Cascadias there's alignment problems okay and I know I'm not the only one that's had this problem apparently this is a common thing with the Mexican made freight liners so I want to put it out there because if you happen to get a brand new truck I'm gonna give you one thing that you can look for it's gonna be a dead giveaway about this problem now what I first noticed was around 9,000 miles my left front steer tire was almost completely friggin bald and I'll show you guys the tires in a second but that's the main thing you know my steering wheel was off center which is not uncommon in a big truck but you know, at 9,000 miles to have a bald steer tire? No, there, there's something wrong. So that's when I first noticed it. And I always noticed that, you know, going down the road, the trailer would uh, would track a little bit sideways. Now, it was worse depending on which trailer I was pulling. So sometimes it wasn't as bad, you know, just depending on the trailer. Now, what was a dead giveaway that there was a real problem, the first brand new trailer that I hooked up to, that thing was dragging sideways down the road. And I knew... At that point, there was a real issue. So, uh, you know, I knew I had to do something about it. But anyway, uh, let me show you Let me show you what the tires look like, and then we'll kind of go from there. All right, so this is my passenger front steer. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see or hear really well. The truck next to me is idling, but you can see how deep the tread depth is on this tire. Hopefully you can. All right, now let's go and let me back up a little bit. Okay, now let's go look at the other one. So, I don't know if you'll be able to see, look at this tire. I mean, you can see the wear indicators. This thing's almost bald. So here's the thing, guys. Here's what you need to look for. If you've got a 2017 Freightliner, that's a cool shadow, huh? Right here, look. Right here, you got your spring hanger you got your control arm. You see this little silver part right here? That's a shim. If you get a brand new truck and you have a shit pile of shims in here, that's a dead giveaway that you're going to have a problem. I had like four shims in here. This thing was probably a quarter inch thick with shims. And it shouldn't be that way. So I had to get a three axle alignment. And basically what was happening was the, the truck was scrubbing, what they call scrubbing going down the road. It was actually going dragging itself sideways. So, um, but yeah, so just keep that in mind. If you've got a 2017 Freightliner, look at your shims. Check and see. If you've got a shit pile of shims in there, it's a dead giveaway. You've got an issue. So let me jump up in the truck. I'll be right back. 
All right, so uh, that's pretty much it. You know, just wanted to put that out there for you guys that got the brand new freight liners because, you know, I've seen it. I'm not on Facebook, but I know guys that are. And uh, my buddy Steve Allington, you guys know him. He's got a YouTube channel. Uh, he's got a friend at KLLM who's having the same issue with his truck. So it's not a Schneider thing. It's not a Schneider finance thing. It's a Freightliner thing. And Freightliner knows there's a problem. And if it's happening all over the place, you know, they just don't seem to want to do nothing about it. So uh, I'm kind of in the midst of, it's, you know, I'm trying to get that worked out to get my steer tires replaced. And, uh, you know... Just something to keep an eye out for. So, like I said, if you got a Mexican Freightliner, the two ways to tell: look in your packet, and uh, if your alignment, I guarantee you, if you got alignment sheet in there, and it's Mexican, you've got a Mexican Freightliner. But double check the tag on the door, see if it says country of origin Mexico. If it does, check where I showed you where that control arm is. See if you got a ton of shims in there. If you do, go get your alignment checked right off the bat. Don't end up with the problem that I ended up with. So, uh, just wanted to put that out there for everybody. So, hopefully that helps somebody else out to avoid the hassles that I'm going through right now with tire issues and everything else. So, if you see that, do yourself a favor, get yourself alignment, and then uh, kind of eliminate the headache right out of the gate. So, I hope that helps you guys out. So, as always, feel free to uh, leave a comment. You can email me, helpwithtruckingathotmail.com. And I guess that's it for now. So, until next time, everybody be good. Be smart, be safe. We'll see you on the road later on.